Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube art studio. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lilette and I love to do hand paintings, unbags, canvas, and other stuffs. And also, I am working on doing DIYs and home decor as well. And I will be posting here soon. I just wanted to share with you how I'm deeply thankful to my family and dear friends who have encouraged me from the sidelines all the way through because painting is just something that I enjoy on a personal level and was initially difficult for me to share with others but because of all those people who believe in me, I gain confidence to recognize myself as an artist. The scale of pandemic and its impact on billions of people, to those who lost their jobs like me, to all the people infected by the coronavirus, to those who lost their loved ones, and we are all limiting physical contact with others, has meant that many of us are looking for ways to distract ourselves while we are stuck inside our homes. So, I am encouraging everyone to create something for yourselves and others also helps our sense of self-efficacy or the belief in our own abilities, using our time purposefully like in baking, sports, paintings, or other things that we like to do temporarily allows us to stop worrying about the future and dwell on the past. But did you know that according to studies, arts can help people understand and cope with depression? We are facing huge public health challenges around the globe and Many people suffer from mental health illness, but according to research, for people with depression, art therapy represents an opportunity to push against that destruction by immersing yourself in the process of creation. According to Mary Grace Berberian, a clinical assistant professor of art therapy at New York University, research has shown that art making can have a profound impact on a person's physical and psychological well-being. People who struggle with depression may have a difficult time putting their feelings into words and the use of art therapy may provide a way for people to express themselves. The National Institute of Mental Health Research found that major depression is one of the most common mental disorders. This mood disorder is marked by a persistent loss of interest in life and feelings of sadness. While the traditional methods of treating depression like talk therapy and medication are often effective for many people, Alternative treatments like art therapy continue to gain in popularity. Art therapy provides an individual who is feeling pressured or overwhelmed with an opportunity to slow down and explore the issues that are occurring in their life. It provides them with a way to manage their behavior, reduce anxiety, process feelings and distressed. Numerous studies have shown that people find their mood lifts when they are being creative this can help the individual transform their negative feelings into ones that are more positive. Being stressed can have negative effects on both the mind and the body. The creation of art can counterbalance those effects and leads to relaxation. 
For many people who struggle with depression, anxiety is also present. In fact, the Anxiety and Depression Association of America estimates that close to 50% of people who have a diagnosis of depression have an anxiety disorder diagnosis. And art therapy may reduce a person's anxious feelings and allow them to focus on positive things for a time. According to a clinical trial conducted by researchers at Leiden University in the Netherlands. According to some studies, one of many reasons that people who struggle with depression may be that they lack adequate amounts of a brain chemical called dopamine. Known for feelings of enjoyment, dopamine can provide the motivation needed to start an activity or continue it. I honestly know about this because my sister, she is diagnosed by her doctor that she is suffering from um, mental health illness because of lack of amounts of dopamine in her brain. So creating art can has uh, been linked to increase in dopamine which in return may increase feelings of happiness it can be difficult for someone who is struggling with depression to pinpoint their feelings working closely with an art therapist can provide valuable information that can be used to address the individual's feelings and that may lead to a breakthrough in their depression and i would like to take this opportunity to thank my sister's doctor dr malin lin who helped her since she was diagnosed with lack of amounts of dopamine in her brain and it's been a year now she is almost returning to her normal life A person's depression may manifest in many different ways. That being said, there are some common symbols of depression in art that may represent how the artist is feeling. Art depicting depression is often seen in muted colors such as grays and blacks. Additionally, chaos in the background is a common theme for depression abstract art. It is important to note, however, that there is not a one-size-fits-all description regarding what symbols are present in depression art. As these examples of depression expressed in art demonstrate, some people forego the chaotic understones and instead are very exacting and meticulous in the rendering of their depressive thoughts. In other cases, the artist uses great splashes of vibrant color. This serves to highlight the muted colors that are typically present as well. While the bright and colorful portions of the art, not usually the focal point of the artwork, their role as a contrasting agent is evident nonetheless. The words art therapy might conjure up images of painting or drawing but there are other mediums that can be used coloring collage and sculpting are popular ways of creating that may be used during art therapy under the care of a trained art therapist it's possible to discover the symbols um, metaphors and messages that often arise during the creation of art the discovery of these components can lead to a greater understanding about behavior and feelings which can lead to a resolution of deeper issues. Art therapy is a therapeutic approach that promotes healing by tapping into and revealing an individual's deepest thoughts and feelings through the arts. This therapy is accessible to people of all ages, including those who do not consider themselves good at art. And for those who find other forms of therapy difficult or ineffective, art therapy could be an excellent option to try as an adjunctive treatment. 
Staying positive during dark times can be a challenge, then this is the best time to connect with people with whom we have meaningful relationships, make phone calls, send emails, and make video calls, and surround yourselves with a community of happy people and always be positive. When we choose to be positive, we become aware of the things in our lives that are good that naturally leads us into opportunities to express gratitude for the things that we do have. And how do we express gratitude? Prayer. Of course, prayer is for more than just saying thank you to our Almighty God. Prayer is also an opportunity to leap up our concerns, hopes, and needs to someone who genuinely cares about us. And for everyone who's always supporting my channel, thank you for listening and watching my videos. I hope you're all keeping yourself safe and healthy with your family through this challenging time. Bye! Je ne